Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now today is part two of the annual coin sets that I've been showing off. Sadly I don't have every single year for the coin sets. I would love to. Maybe one day soon I will, hopefully, fingers crossed. That would be a great thing to have. But what I'll do is I'll show you what I have just now. And as you can see I've got two of the 1992s. The one with the EEC 50 pence. I'll give you a quick scan of that. Also give you a quick scan of that. Feel free to pause. Have a wee read of this one too. And I'll let you read the back. And to the juicy bit. As you can see, there's the, that's the oak tree design on the pound coin. All the rest are the same. Got your regular 50 pence. But there's a, that's, that's the meat and potatoes, that one. And that's the EEC. Now, it's not really about the monetary value. I know it's worth quite a bit. Not just to me, but not just to everyone else. But it's just really good design. I will never, never ever part with that one. And I'm going to put that safely away. And pretty much the same as what's in here. I'll show you this fact though. You've got your Union Jack flag, it's just there's the rear end of the sleeve. And there's the book. As you can see, I'll give you a wee scan of that, you can read that. Quite poignant at the moment with all the Brexit thing that's happening just now. There's your EEC coin. And there's the obverse. And there's the rest of them, including the oak tree. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> things falling out. Show you that one there. Things that are falling out the, the book. There you go, there's your obverse, as you'd expect. And I'll let you have a wee read of that. All the information and specifications. I'll pop these back into into the book. And keep that safely protected in its cellophane. And the next one we've got here in 1994. Got the wee portcullis at the front there, as you'd expect. All your design specifications, I'll let you have a wee scan of that if you like. And this one's the one that includes the Bank of England coin, two pound coin. I'll let you have a wee scan of that. There's your lion rampant for the one pound. And there's the D-Day one. That's the one they're supposed... I think they're reissuing that one for the 50 years of 50p. That'll be a good one to see for 2019. And there's your obverse of the coins. History of the pound, we think you can read there. And 50th anniversary of D-Day landings. Which is now... Uh, the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings, isn't it? Yeah. So, 25 years old, this pack. That looks as good as the day it was made. There we go. Nothing on the back there. Just a wee invitation to join them in. I'll pop them back in safely. I do like the D-Day landing coin. I really do rate that one as a Good design. In fact, I think I have a, a, a one separate somewhere else in my biscuit tin. I think. Now oh, this one, Millennium Coin, minted at the dome itself at the. It's now the O2 Arena, isn't it? I've got that one, and as you can see. the coin itself. You can tell the ones that were minted there have a little dome 
at the three o'clock position. All the other ones are just normal. There's the obverse of the coin. You rank broadly. There you go. Five pound going. Show you what else was in the packet. And I do like that one, especially with it being a millennium thing. Ah, the next one I've got here, 2002. Standard coins, but got your three lions for representing England this time round. And there's your obverse of the coins. You can rank broadly on there. There's a weird layout this this pack this one. <laughs> Show you the information for Queen Elizabeth. That. This is one long, 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 long Queens of England. <laughs> I can't really bend it around for the camera to see. Although I don't want to bend it either, it's, it's not good for it. Put that into there. Put that into there. And pop this back into here. A nice wee pack just to fill in the years. Now, oh, the next one I've got 2007. There you go. Shows you the evolution of the Union flag. And that one's the one that celebrates the act of Union. Also got the Boy Scouts coin, and there's the, the abolition of slave trade coin with the shiny texture and the, the signature of the designer just next to it. Pound coins featuring the different bridges at that point. It's the same as the one with the Queens, I can't really show you everything on it, but there's your Act of Union script. Abolition of the slave trade script. And there's a bit representing the scout movement. And there's your obverse of the coins. I do like this pack mainly because of the different designs, two pound coins, the two different ones you get, the bridge. And the scouts. My favourite has to be the slave trade one because of the shiny texture and the differences it has with the uh, the one that's actually in circulation. I'll pop that safely back into here. Try not to damage it. Oh dear! It's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> be careful. That's the, that's the risk about opening these packs. End up something like that happening. And in you go. Now, this one here, I have two of, so I can put one away. And I can open up this one. It's already open. This one's still sealed. So I'm not leave. I'm just leaving that as as is. This one here, the same as it covers the actual pack itself. Is your modern one pound coin? And this is the one that features the Olympic centenary. I do. I do love that coin as well. Is your royal coat of arms 
technologies do pound. I'll switch to the obverse view. Look at the shiny. <laughs> That's your fourth Olympiad. Let you have a wee scan of that. And this is a uh, talking about the history of the penny. There we go. So I'll pop that away, get that all safely done. I will bid you thank you for watching the video and I'll also thank you for being patient with me with these folding these up. There you go. Now, part three, I'll have some more modern ones. I'll be the more modern booklets. I think I'm missing out a couple more years. Sadly, I don't have the 2009 one. I don't have a spare two or three hundred quid for one. Um, maybe one day in the future I will, but for now, I've, the only Kew Gardens one I've got is the one that's in the current 2019 set, and that little one in the case I've got in the other video. Just a wee uh, circulated one I've already got. But maybe one day I'll get a number, uh, 2009 pack, that would be awesome. But until that day, I'm just going to keep on working. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to disappear off the now, get the third video made and prepared. If you're having a hunt, have a happy one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.